When you think of human trafficking, you might think of how it's portrayed in the movies on the big screen. Oh my God, they got Amanda. Where they have somebody from a foreign country. But here's the reality. We are seeing victims come from across our jurisdiction. Assistant District Attorney Kirsta Lieberg Melton heads up the DA's human trafficking unit. If you have a child who is a preteen through a teenager, that child is at risk. Melton says she's seen cases of human trafficking begin when a teenager gets into a fight with their parents. They start talking about their troubles on the computer or on a phone chat line. In one case, she made some calls and perfect stranger was willing to come pick her up. The teen ended up on the street forced into prostitution. She was found under a city bridge. And I've had several trafficking victims who have ended up uh, under under bridges, either addicted to drugs or with nowhere to stay. There's one human trafficking case Melton says that will never leave her. The victim was 13 years old. She skipped school to buy drugs. Those drug dealers on that day locked her up, held her. They each tied, they tied her up, they raped her, and they kept her for a week and a half, and they sold her to anybody who had extra money after they came in to buy their drugs. They could buy a 13-year-old tied up, laying there in her own urine and feces, and rape her for $25. That's happening a few miles from this courthouse. Melton says parents should talk to their children about trafficking because it doesn't discriminate. Even good kids, okay, even kids who make great grades and, in our, and have college plans and are in extracurriculars, can make mistakes of judgment. Keep a close eye on what your child is up to, especially online, because at the end of the day, there are people all over this community and others that are willing to come and take your child.